welcome back to the Gone for 10 show. We've made it to the final game of round seven, and it comes to us from Combank Stadium at 4.05 p.m. We have that team on the screen, the Parramatta Reels, led by Mitchell Moses versus the Canterbury Bulldogs. Now, these two teams, they have since 1998 played each other 49 times. So this will be the 50th meeting between the pair, and the Eels have the slight advantage having won 25 of those the Bulldogs have won 23, and in those 49 games, there's been one draw between the two teams. Now, firstly, this Eels team, they did um, get the points, obviously, against the Tigers last week. They definitely finished very slow, and I think if there was another 5, 10 minutes, minus the injuries that the Tigers did have to Nadan and to Dewey, I think the Tigers do eventually get over the Eels. But, however, the game does go for 80 minutes, and on that 80 minutes, they got the result on Easter Monday. But... If they're going to get through this game with a result, they'll definitely need to put in a full 80-minute performance. And their lineup is on the screen as follows. You've got Clint Gufferson, Micah Sivo, Will Penasini, Sean Russell, Hayes Dunstan, Dylan Brown, Mitchell Moses, Regan Campbell-Gillard, Josh Hodgson, Junior Paulo, Sean Lane, Bryce Cartwright, Ryan Madison to make up the 13, with Jermaine Hopgood, Brendan Hands, Wiramu Craig, and Eminem on the bench, and Jake Arthur in the 18th man. Now, massive shout out to Brendan Hands. He has obviously extended his contract midweek, and I think from what we've seen so far in first grade to come from Penrith, coming to this Parramatta lineup, he's definitely showed that he deserves that contract. So massive props to him, and I'm sure he's going to have a cracking game today on top of that. But let's have a look at this Bulldog side. Now, obviously, last week on Good Friday, they got their pants pulled down by the bunnies. They got absolutely smashed. And to add insult to injury, they've lost Ado Carr. And they've also now lost Villarmi Kikau to a pec injury. So it is a team that is getting quite depleted due to injuries. But I do expect they're still going to put up a fight. They do have the likes of Matt Burden still. Kyle Flanagan, who does cop a lot of sticks, but he has been around some really good teams, including the Roosters. So I'm sure he knows how to do that. They've got Reed Mahoney, who's been in great form. You've got Karaz on that side, being absolutely brilliant. And obviously, you've got Ockenbohr, who does cop a lot of hate, but does know how to get the job done in certain games. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to light this game up, but he'll definitely be defensively probably a problem for the Eels, and hopefully he can hold out his man. But you've got Hayes Perham, Jacob Karaz, Jake Avarillo, Port Lamotti, Jaden Ockenbohr, Matt Burden, Kyle Flanagan, Max Kinn, Reed Mahoney, Tavita Pengai Jr. returns, Jacob Preston, Corey Waddell, Raymond Mariner to round out the 13 with Josh Reynolds, Ryan Sutton, Jackson Toppany, Andrew Davey on the bench with Declan Casey rounding out that 18th man in jersey number 22. Now, I do think this is going to be a big game, but however, the way I look at it is I think there's way too many injuries, way too many changes to this Bulldogs side, and I think they they will be in the game. They will be there or thereabouts. Now, I don't know if that's me saying that because I really think this side can still perform or if I'm really concerned about the longevity of how long the yields can last for a full 80 minute game. So I'm going to go with the yields on this one. I think there's just too many injuries. They're too depleted here. Their bench. Yes. Okay. You've still got the players that can change a game. You've still got Josh Reynolds that can come on and change the game, but this is a different game. They're at Combank. We know what the yields are like at Combank. They're dominant. They love playing at home in front of that crowd. And I expect it to be close to a sellout or at least a massive crowd there. So I'm going to go to Eels 1-12. to Baxter's locked in the Bulldogs 1-12, to but one of us will get this tip right. One of us might get the margin right, but who knows? Someone might shock out. There might be a draw. There might be the second draw in their history, but let us know in the comments what you think about this game, who you think is going to get the win, and obviously we'll be back with the review show come Monday or Tuesday. Peace.